If you clicked in this video, you probably wouldn't know how you get rich. I said, oh, that's nice. Um, if you want to know how, like, how to get on this stuff, such as 74 hyper discs, 9 expert discs, probably not those discs because you can buy those, but these you can't buy. You get 15, if I'm really, or was it 30? I think it was 15. That was a bit more. But you get more. You don't get that many per save file. In fact, now I have 74. Uh, it's partly because of that hunt and partly because of coins. Which I will show you how I do it in this video. And 9 expert discs, basically. Not that gay. And power fruits, I have 10 of those. Um, those were from two gummies, as I call them. Um, two of those ones, um, I got 10 power fruits, which is 10 levels. Which, you know, right now, Zen is kind of slow. Um, kind of slow. So power fruits, definitely good. And, of course, the gummies. Um, some of these are tied for, i got to be honest, I have not gotten all of these from just, from just doing quote-unquote game rooms. But at this amount, I've gotten from game rooms. And the other, these amount, I've tied for. And uh, keep in mind, it's not like I never use gummies. I do use gummies. I think the last couple of days I haven't used any gummies, but... I was getting one PP each and every day. Um, partly because of that, and partly because of tying gummies. Um, and the fact that I don't take gummies, but still, I get... You get a lot of stuff, and you get one cover too. Um, and this method I call gummy mining. Um, this is uh, basically, yeah, uh, just to summarize, you get one cup of coffee, 10 power fruits, 10 of each gummy, um, and one hyper disc, one expert disc, and 10 hyper discs uh, per time you can't go gummy I'm going to call it gummy because it's easy to say, also nice. <laughs> it's easy to say, easy to remember, and it kind of floats. What you need. You don't need one of these lumen. If you have one of these lumen, that's okay. That just makes it a bit simpler, I think. But all you really need is all the start evolution lines, like every one of them. You can't just skip like the second stage, you need every single one of them. Um, you need all the twilight lines. You need you don't really need um this you don't have to, but you can have all the gobby lines. Right now it doesn't matter. You don't really need it. And you need all the Kabunga lines. Kabunga, Tratiki, Bikimiki. And you need all the KL ones, um, being KL, um, Ukiloa, and Kakaole. And you need, uh, um, I'm reading off my notes right there. All the Igneal lines, um, two. This one, this one, this one, Igneal Kista and Obsidian, and you need all the Kapna Evolution lines, which is this one, this one, and this one. You don't have to have both the genders on the Kapna notes, one is enough. And Faglyph 2, if you really want, but is not necessary for my calculations. Mm, yeah, it's not necessary, but like in the future, it might be good. I want, if you don't want energy gummies, um, it's 77. If you want the energy gummies, it's 87. One box is uh, six, and four, 6 times 5. So basically, three boxes. Um, yeah. And that's about it, you need to know. You just need 77 lumens, 77 or 87 lumens. Um, all Igneal, KL, um, Kabunga, and Starter Evolution Lines. And then, and Kafnot. Yeah, Kafnot too. And that's all that you got to have. You don't have got to have to anything else, but just having one of each lumen just makes it simpler. It only does have type advantage, um, it doesn't have any type disadvantages, it only has type advantages um, up to gate 4s and even later um, it's still going to have one type advantage which is going to become kind of useful and if you don't want to, you don't, you don't have to do this but like if you do a flare right, um, just attack your first um, mom, your first attack like if that was the eaglet, it would have done that much damage, but because it's, this is snow cap, it's super effective, and it's a range move. You want to take a look at its stats, though. Um, mine is failing nimble, which is not that gay. Um, you could reset if you want, like, until you get a good one, but don't use it too many times, so it's just time-wasting. Um, but look, uh, like, it's failing nimble, but that is an amazing range attack. Even if it doesn't have that much melee attack, you have to give me Flirt is basically his main attack, except for the end of the game, which I'll, or like, the end of the game. 
it's only for you're not gonna beat first him. So like Fly is good enough, um, and this has amazing like amazing uh, range that you piece and amazing range defense too. But it's got fail, but it's fine. Like you don't have to go super good on it. As long as it's like as long as it's not clumsy, basically. Even if it's clumsy, you can deal with it. But it's all, if if I got a pure clumsy one or like a clumsy anything, I would have done it. Also, that kit hit. I would just reset. It, it takes like you lose like forty-five minutes by setting. But sometimes that's worth it because if not, you're gonna have to have to set signing like hitting more hits per battle. It's not that big significance really. It's mostly against Duskit it's worst, but you could, um, and it just makes your life easier a bit, except that you have to reset, but it's not that bad. As I recommend, um, after you talk to your mum, um, like here, you know it's not that long, go to your closet, I think most people all would have done that, go gab the, uh, you gotta gab the potions, that's like a must, and a smaller mid, and discs. I recommend you, but you don't have to. Let's say you find a gleaming at for, as first and cat, you know, just saying, could be neat you have. And you don't have to buy discs for later when you get six boost tokens. Okay, so these are the things you want to skip. You want to skip this first dude, you want to skip this guy, uh, and then you just want to go straight to that girl right over there. Um, and girls are going to get, get, get five capture discs. But that's fine to be honest. To be on, like I have not had a need for those five capsules really. You don't have to buy as many, but it's fine because you can just let's just get to that later. But you don't really need to. This girl's gonna have a twiddle and a calf on. If you look, if you're unlucky, you won't one won't will not one shot the calf on. But most likely you'll one shot both of the hills. Holy means so basically some free XP, um, and it's time efficient because you you know you one shot Evelyn mean. See right there, see how she has like 1 HP, despite all my amazing stats, that's just called damage rolls for you, um, that's just damage roll, if you see like she has 1 HP left or like 2 HP left, don't worry, it's just an unlucky damage roll most likely. When coming to Chessman Town, just run straight forwards, you don't need to heal up, because um, if you did it alright, at worst you would be taking like 2 or 3 damage to that cat phone, if you got an unlucky damage roll or had like extreme bad stats. Go in Kabunga Coffee, just take the Kabunga Coffee, and just give it to your Snow Um, Just do it. You don't need to heal, you don't need to go to Lumi Sentinel, you can just keep on going. After you talk to the um, old man, cut things over, you basically run here. you got to run on the uh, upper edge, you can't run to the left, uh, for reason you will soon see. Uh, you won't need to do anything to the wild, just run away from everything. Because you got to skip over this thing, if you go just down the way there, um, you will go. Um, you won't skip over him, and you can just battle him. It's not that bad. It's just a slight less time save, to be honest. It's not even that bad. But this Tainer is better because um, both of them have like Lumis you want. So the first one has, and they both gave around the same amount of XP too. It's just this guy only has two Lumis compared to the other guy who has three Lumis. So you save a bit of time here. And once you have the Tainer over here, you're up here. Um, through this guys, if you're lucky you don't get any encounters, but most likely you get at least one, maybe two. If you're super lucky you could get three too. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go off the assumption that you don't have any charms on this account, which would make sense. If you don't have an account with charms, that's even better. Um, but you just keep on going. Um, go here. So with that in mind, like you won't necessarily get good things from the boost tokens. You might get something though. You never know. But keep in mind, like you can't get any secret abilities if you don't have any secret abilities on. I mean, if you do, you're kind of there. Battle this Tainer. Then you go here. Mm, go here. And boom. Yeah, you come to desk at cutscene. Mm, then you just spam flurry. Potions if you need to. Don't get too afraid to use potions. Um, just saying. If, if he, you're in low health, just use a potion. Um, you're not going to need him for much. Also, nice double kit here, and I got a feast. We both get hit, but I got a feast too. Freeze definitely helps. Mm, he's going to start all. Um, like right now, I could risk it. Hope he goes for another like low damage move that does like 6 damage. Or I could just use a potion. 
being safe so because it's better safe than sorry so once you come here um get in stuck right there go ahead and just go in school cut scene something nearly too important until route 3 which i'll show you at route 3 actually before you go to route 3 keep in mind like don't go too close to that tiny you can just like come here you go over here just skip hit like this you don't want to battle that tiny it could but it's not worth it don't do it just like skip it and go to route 3 and when you're at route 3 which let it load there you go you could just go stay up here, but you know, you could just get a boost token. Um, because there's fun fact if you didn't know, there's a boost token if you go to the right of Route 3 um, from Nettons. Uh, just go up, battle the one tiny. It is, uh, you have to do it, there's no like dodging them. Just go up, battle that tiny, and get that boost token over there. That's worth it because you know, you want a boost token, right? And once you defeat the tiny, you can just go here, click on that, um, get your boost token. And if you and you just get unstuck, if you want to save, you know, a minute or two. If you get paralyzed, I recommend going to Lumion Center. Um, if you get paralyzed by static shock, which can happen, it's not super common, but if it happens, just go to Lumion Center. It's definitely worth it. Trust me. After you defeated this first signer, just go up to this sign art here. This is quite an important signer. Her name is Elizabeth. If you if you care about that, you're gonna battle this signer. Until you basically level 15, like it can be up to this amount, level 15, um, level 14 with like this much missing. And if you look at my soaker bite right now, it should be done after this one more battle. Uh, like if you take a look at it, it should be enough. If it's not enough, like I can see like about the amount I need, because like it doesn't have to be level 15, because it's level one more battle you got to do. So it doesn't have to be level 15, uh, it doesn't have to, uh, but like close to level 14 because you don't gain that much more XP from in the final battle before the theater. Now that you're in Sylvan City, you just want to run, go here, go to the Lumion Center, heal up your Lumion, you don't have to, but I find it like, why not? Um, it's not, it's not to. Especially if you're paralyzed, you got paralyzed by final battle, definitely do it, of course. Get small meds, uh, get, go buy small meds, I really recommend 9, you don't need more than 9. The first battle, you go to the left, right I mean, and just go like that. Take that pattern. Okay, this is a personal solution for this puzzle. You just go like this, just repeat my movements, or like copy my movements, there you go. And that's that puzzle. When you get to this puzzle right here, the final puzzle one, it can be complicated if you don't know what to do, but if you know what to do, you just go like this, and it's that simple. When you go to Naya, just snow doser. It snow does everything. Uh, if you get paralyzed, that sucks. I usually don't get paralyzed that often myself. Just snow doser, hope you don't miss. If you're lucky, the get go, because both of the get close had dodge. If you're lucky, none of the get glue uses dodge and you don't miss any snow loser, and you basically get a free win. Even if you, unless you just pilfer, look at that sharpen, that can be really scary, trust me. And like, I'm only over leveled by one level two. A snow loser, as long as you don't miss, easy. After you beat your first feature, just go to Taylor Sort, um, get your alt account uh, to join you, and just say to yourself, either all Lumions, all of each Lumions, and preferably a gleam Lumion with spare, or just a gleam and a Lumion with spare. And once your ult has joined, or your main has joined you, send a trade request and do the trading. Uh, you will accept. And look at that. It's going to give one of each Lumion, or I'm going to give myself one of each Lumion to get master. Once I give myself one of each Mbit line for. In this case, it's Ember. Um, I will get Master Pockets. 200 mail point, master, 200 master points per evolution line. And I only got like two power fruits and one um, boost token, which is already quite good. Actually, two boost tokens because I went to sit on the bridge, but you might not have done that. And you basically, keep on doing that until you've got an you know, all evolution lines and 77 lumens in 77 slash 87 lumens in total. Or until you are. Um, have given yourself one of each Lumion.
and as you can see right here, I'm starting to get all my gummies put on and all my items such as discs. Just two more like that. And this should be the final batch of stuff. Give him some gummies. As you can see, I turned off each gummy earlier, but now I have uh, since it's been on. Give one of that. And as you can see, no no Kabunga coffee, no power fruits, only normal capture discs, and give yourself one energy gummy. And if you want the energy gummies to, as I said, you gotta have playing some extra lumens. And with that, you're basically done. All you need to do now is take back and unequip all the gummies. And as you can see, I'm soon done taking all the lumens back. And we're gonna keep this thing and this thing for the boost tokens. Um, Chris, when you get uh, to master level 19, which is what you get for like Gamon, you have to get level 17, you don't have to get level 19, 17 is enough, but you get, I get level 19 because I have one of each Lumen. Um, give yourself those. Uh, that will give you five, four boost tokens because of that. There's one more way to get one more boost token, which is at you get one, and you get your Gleeman, Lumen which you traded, you should not have traded that away. If you did, uh, don't have a tight gleaming, gleaming, gleam. If you don't have a gleaming, gleaming, what? Get, make, make sure that you get one, and go get, go and get one, go in Marty's town, uh, go in Marty's town, uh, show her in the house. I think when you enter the bridge, it's to the left. As soon as you enter the bridge, from you one, go in Marty's town, go to that house, left of the bridge. So you're gleaming and you got six boost tokens. And with those boost tokens, you don't get any charms and you don't get any gammies and it's only six boost tokens. So it's not really that gay, but you get boost tokens. Like, it's not that gay, but you can. And you can't get secret abilities either without secret ability pass. But it's a way to get boost tokens. It's not even that many, but it's a way. And when you, um, and this is my old account. Once you're done hunting, take it back. Uh, Duskit and uh, Gleam Lumion uh, slash the Lumion with Spare, and you're done. That's it for this video, and with that in mind, be good to